Right, anyway, we're ready. We have enough people and we have an audience. If you still want to join us, join the audience. You guys will have fun there, I promise you. I've got to press start on here. Sit back and enjoy Audio. Flash 3, the Quips Take Manhattan. <laughs> Schmitty here, and you're there, so that means you all found the secret map. Oh. Right? And remember, you still get to vote if you're in the audience. You Type do. in that room code to join. Look how everything's made of clay here. Ready or not, it's round one. You'll get two prompts on your device to answer any way you please. Okay. You'll go head to head with another player's response and everyone else votes on their favorite. Sound easy? That's because yep. it is. Okay. Points are scored based on the percentage of people who choose your response. Let's quip. Time's winding down. It's go time. <sighs> and going first is... First she asked for legs, then the Little Mermaid asked for blank. The Little Mermaid, she asked for a divorce with the guy she loved or sex. Okay, choose away. To the clay vortex. Yes, it is a very sad story at the end of that Little Mermaid, the Disney one. It turned out that Prince Bears. Whatever his name was. It's more visually good than the previous two. Yes, I agree. I really like the look of it. A divorce from the guy she loved. It was. Next on the docket. It would be terrifying to have a painting of blank above I've got your bed. Here, so. I knew it. <laughs> okay, choose your favorite. It would be terrifying to have a painting of eyeballs or crave your game above your bed. What the logo or me? And I'm not that now. Bad, Terrifying. If she were alive today, Marie Antoinette would probably say, Let them eat blank. Let them eat my arm for free, or that shoe, which is a cake. Now is it, it gets real. Pick your favorite. <laughs> yeah, we vote first. Next up, a group of tax attorneys is called blank. What is a group of tax attorneys called? A deduction or a deduction? Let's keep it going. Oh. If we named all the constellations today, one would definitely be called blank. What the hell happened there? This is but on the stretchy pickle juice. <laughs> and now it's time to vote for your favorite. What the hell just happened? That was close. 
Let's see the next one. Something that you didn't need to know is gluten-free. Yeah. Home or my ex's girlfriend. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Choose your favorite. Yeah, if you both do the same prompt, nobody gets points. I want different prompts, people. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. And next is... There is no I in team, but there is an I in blank. Mine or Indica. Here's the fun part. Pick your favorite quip. So there's no I in team, but there is an I in mine or indigo. <laughs> well, I just sat there thinking, okay. I've never seen the Jinx quick blush before, that's a first. And no, no, next, right. a rejected fairy tale title, Jack and the Giant Blank. Pet Rock. Oh no. Time to pick the one you like best. At Rock or Siren Head? Oh no, and the giant. Don't Siren Head's giant already? Because people like Indigo. <laughs> Siren Head's all giant already, aren't they? I'm not losing the plot here. Now that round one is a distant memory, let's move on to the scores. Huh? Points. Yes. Welcome to round two. I knew People you could like make it, go. but get ready. <laughs> the points are doubled and the pressure is on. I just realized I can't spell. Zodiac <laughs> sign. Time's almost up. Use a safety quip if you're stuck. You probably did. Zodiac signs are like Leo and Taurus and stuff like that. Okay, the writing phase is in the books. Your entire lives have led to this moment. Oh, do you feel? Prompt number one is... The only dog who didn't get into heaven. No, it's the uh, one that no one remembers or Snoopy. <laughs> no, I don't like that one. Oh no, I feel bad if it is. No, no. Oh, that's a glassy. The switch goes like, oh, put it down well. <laughs> Oh, Snippy. Oh, the audience likes Snippy too. 
Mr. P is not in heaven. <laughs> Next, what sign was left off of the zodiac? Goat or no answer. You got points anyway. Oh, by the way, Nothing there is. like running goat. unopposed. Here's some points. Goat that's got like a fish body. Without further ado, the number one cause of divorce among citizens of Legoland. <laughs> They built a negative relationship. <laughs> and now pick your favorite. <laughs> that is a joke. <laughs> that is the funny. That is true, but that is the funny. Who is the imposter? GD is the imposter. How do you know? Because I do know. <laughs> It like to be the imposter. Next we have the weirdest function Iron Man's high-tech armor can perform. <laughs> Tough cleaning or a lot of joy for pepper pots. Alright, vote for the one you like best. Yeah, <laughs> I love the joy. All right, check this out. There's probably a Google Earth picture of this player that catches them blank. <laughs> it was something who was trying to teach you. All stupid. right, choose your favorite. Let's see how they handle. If aliens abducted this player, what would they learn about humans? Much. <laughs> By any problem, <purpose>, them. <laughs> Thanks for showing up, though. And here we have. What do you get the woman who has everything? Hmm. You kill her so you can have all her stuff, okay, all to sort of everything. Your favorite quip. I mean. <laughs> That's gonna be really expensive. It's gonna be extremely expensive. Oh. Moving right along. Let's do this. The next goal on Jeff Bezos' vision board. I mean, yeah. The completion. All right, people. Uh, it's voting time. Of the underground hive or YouTube stardom. Completion. Completion. I feel like there's an extra it in there. In completion, got an M as well. Whatever. YouTube stardom. I'm here to make fun of my own spelling. And round two is finito. Nice. Let's see if the same is true of your score. Look. Oh no! Get ready for... Riplash! A final round stuffed to the gills with points. You'll each get a prompt that needs... Mm -hmm. Three good separate good job, good job. responses. You got this.
time's running out. That's it. Oh. Okay, that's time. Now let's see who writes best on a deadline. Mm. I'm ready if you are. I am. Let's do this. The three most annoying habits in the world. What are they? Is it biting hair, ripping shirts, being annoyed to Freddy Pre? He's. Oh, it's Duck. Duck, you get the We've free points. We've got a no-show. Well, more points for you. <laughs> three nicknames you'd like to have. Thing. Maverick, the one Flugmaster. Dread Miners, the game helper, Scatterass. Okay, everybody, pick your favorite quip. What is it? How things are going. Hope that you win the game. I just win that one another. Again. Two two. Three things everyone can agree on these days. Oh, let's see. Yeah, Fizz and Flat, Simpsons produced an everything. I don't know about this one, love. Aries Brief or War is Brief for the reverse is and not now, true. Now, pick your favorite. Uh. Hi! It's true. <laughs> I like how that we're now going to just point out this is the truth. Get positive. What are three good things about being dead? Yeah, what's three good things? You don't have to worry about 2020 growing to lose weight. First, you get to meet Bono. Wait, no COVID-19, no worrying about politics, no COVID-19 right, again. Your favorite. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> which one? Oh, you know who's is me versus... Which one do you guys pick? That's the question. I cannot live with this tension. Show me the final score. Where's the final score? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Rex won. Well done. I she did the best. <laughs> yeah, well done, Rex. Came out of nowhere. Yeah. Yep, that's that's fair enough. I'm gonna play one more game, but I'm gonna let you guys pick which game we're playing. 